The arrests of six people kicked off the latest Occupy Wall Street protests at the New York Stock Exchange. Honestly, every arrest that I saw um, was unprovoked, and, and nothing that we did here was different than what we've been doing every single week for the last five weeks. But these confrontations with cops took place on the day demonstrators targeted Bank of America as their least favorite financial institution. Demonstrators dubbed their action the run on Bank of America, encouraging customers to take their money elsewhere. Then they've turned around and foreclosed on people, raised interest rates, uh, very, very cr uh, criminal activities really and so I don't see any reason why anybody would want to leave their money in Bank of America. One of the country's largest financial institutions, Bank of America remains anchored in controversy. Its stock value has plummeted and it spent millions to settle discrimination lawsuits and will spend hundreds of millions to fend off claims that the company along with other large banks illegally foreclosed on millions of Americans. Many held up signs that portrayed the company as a monstrous corporate pig. I think they should not only be shut down, but prosecuted. Right? They're violating the laws of this country, which unfortunately happens at most levels of higher power. They can do whatever they want and walk away with it. Two weeks ago, Bank of America's board of directors sent a warning to the company's CEO, Brian Moynihan. He received no cash bonus like many of his corporate colleagues. He did get $7 million in stock, but that's tied directly to the company's performance. And considering how that performance has been doing, many protesters out here believe it's time for the mega company to be broken up into smaller ones. This demonstration is the first of several throughout the weekend to protest corporate greed and political influence in America. It also coincides with the upcoming April 15th deadline for Americans to pay their taxes. We're, we're giving billions to the billionaires and to the war. I've been speaking to like, you know, you meet so many tourists here, mainly a lot of people I've been meeting from Europe, and they all say basically the same thing. Yes, they pay a decent amount of their money in taxes over there, in those that are in social democracies, but they say they get education back for it, they get health care. Many here continue to say the rich are still not paying their fair share of taxes, while the 99% are paying for the penalties of the shortfall. Gary Anthony Ramsey, Press TV, New York.